Have you been asking yourself, when is Star Wars Fanatic going to announce the Sideshow Spider-Man 2099 figure giveaway winner? Well, that day has finally come, and that day is today. But first off, I am Gerald, and I'm a Star Wars Fanatic, and you can be a Star Wars Fanatic too. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, give the channel a like, and give the video a comment. Each comment does get read by me, and I try to respond to as many as I can. I also take one comment from each video and I highlight it at the end of the next video. So I'll be doing that today too. So when you're thinking about what comment can you leave possibly for a figure giveaway, what kind of great comment would there be? It would be congratulations or something like that. Well, I want you to say congratulations to the winner, but at the same time, think of this for a comment. What do you think of the rumor going around that Christopher Lloyd is going to be in the Mandalorian season three. What kind of role would he play? And if you've seen anywhere where Disney or Lucasfilm have confirmed it, please drop a link in the comment. And I'll get to that announcement here in just a moment after we go ahead and announce our winner for this Spider-Man 2099 figure brought to you by Sideshow and donated by our good friend Marcus Aponte. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate you doing this for our membership. And if you didn't know, Marcus is also the one that gifted me the Boba Fett with the Sarlacc pit from Sideshow Collectibles. A brilliant piece for my collection and I'm sure the Spider-Man piece will be a brilliant piece for the winners com collection I made the announcement for this giveaway over a month ago I meant to put it out on March 12th but with getting a new job and everything I got so wrapped up in work I couldn't really get to the video so now I'm getting to it but the only rule that was for this giveaway was you had to be a channel member so the next giveaway whenever I have one which is really up to me if I ever do one again I'll make up the rules then and I'll put out an official announcement so without any further ado the winner for this figure is Knut the nerd Knut Thank you so much, buddy, for everything you do for this channel. You've been a longtime contributor. You've been commenting and liking and just throwing yourself at this channel. You're at every premiere, every live chat, every live stream, and you are just all with it. And that's not saying anything bad about the other members. You have all been so amazing and all so great. So this was kind of just a random thing, but... At the same time, Knut's been here a long time. So, congratulate him. Tell him thank you, Knut. Uh, Marcus is putting that in the mail today. So, you will be seeing it hopefully soon. Um, he's putting insurance on it. I'll get the tracking number and I'll send it to you. But again, thank you so much, Knut. And now let's get on with today's topic. I'm going to keep it really brief. I'm not even scripting it. I just want to talk about it for just a second. To me, anytime somebody gets denounced for a show, I take it with a grain of salt. I really don't pay attention to it. I really don't, I'm not going to say I don't care that they're in it, but I really don't care about the announcement until something official comes from Disney or Lucasfilm. And the only way that comes official to me is by seeing them in the show. They can say they cast somebody in Disney any way they want, but Star Wars is not the only Disney product. So, I mean, Christopher Lloyd could have been cast for another Pixar movie or a Marvel movie or a Marvel series or any of that, and we don't know. Uh, I don't know, unless somebody's seen something official. Well, go ahead and pop a link in the description or in the comments below, and we'll take a look at that. But it looks like a lot of 80s stars are getting a second chance in Star Wars if Christopher Lloyd is the case in this. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Great Scott, is Christopher Lloyd going to be in Star Wars? And at this time, I'll go ahead and announce the highlighted comment from the last video. This one comes from our little buddy DR Moran. And he says, Haha, I kind of want more of Fnatic's story of playing with his Star Wars toys. It was fun to hear, lol. I kind of want to get a Boba Fett toy now. He's Mr. Plastic Man at the moment. Thank you, DR. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody that sends the comments. I really do appreciate those. And I do read every last one of them. I can't always reply to them, but I do read them. So keep the comments coming and let's see who gets the next highlighted comment. 
But that's all I have for today. Thank you all for joining me. Knut the Nerd, one more time. Congratulations, buddy. You deserve it. And this is Gerald from Star Wars Fanatic signing off, wishing you all great health and happiness. And remember, this is the way. The only way.